Hey, this is Sherry from SincerelyJean.com and today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on how to do a blog post in WordPress. And this is just a blank website that we use to show tutorials. Our main website is SincerelyJean.com. Alright, let's get started. This is your WordPress dashboard. On the left sidebar over here, you're going to hover over Post and click Add New. This will take you to a brand new blog post. This is where the title goes. Obviously make sure it's a descriptive title using keywords. And then um, for the permalink, we like to use the blog post title as our permalink. You can edit those permalink settings down here in settings. Settings permalinks. All right, so I'm a creative blogger. I do recipes and DIY projects. So I always like to start my blog posts out with a nice vertical photo. So in order to add photos or any other media, like PDFs or anything like that, um, click Add Media. You can click Upload Files, select files, and you know get them from your computer. And mine are already uploaded, so I'll go back to they're already in my library. So I am going to use this photo. I just want to go over a few things. This URL, this is a URL of your image. You can actually type that into uh, a uh, browser and it'll pop up the photo. Title, this is what was automatically, um, it automatically populated from the file name. You definitely want to have a descriptive title name that you save on your computer when you upload it to your website. Alt text, this is super important. Um, I already did this one earlier. And for the alt text, this is basically telling search engines what your photo is. It's also super, super important for Pinterest. Um, because once you have all your photos on your website and someone pins from your website, this is the description that's automatically going to pop up. So I'm gonna give you a few tips. Like we talked about, make sure you use a descriptive title. I like to do also a little description. So a delicious and simple dinner the entire family will love. You're using keywords in there. So my keywords are like family, dinner, things that people would search for on Google or Pinterest. And then, nice little tip here, put your um, your URL to um, to your website. Because on Pinterest, it's actually clickable. So people can actually click here and go to your homepage. It's a nice little tip in there. Um, also alignment. I like to use center alignment and link to, you can actually link photos to a custom URL or a media file or attachment page. I usually do none. Um, and then sizes, you can do thumbnail, medium, large, full size. I usually do, do full, full size. Just one more thing, the optimal size for blog post images is 800 by 1200. Canva is a great resource for knowing the exact images, image sizes for social media, blog posts, things like that. So check with Canva if you're ever questioning on a size of an image. Then when you're done, click insert into post. Okay. If you want to come back and edit this photo, all you need to do is click on it and then it'll allow you to click edit and then that'll take you back into editing your photo. All right, so I already went in and inserted more text and images. Right here is called a read more tag. It's this little icon right here. In some instances, you're not going to want your entire blog post to show. For example, in your archives or on the home page, and so this is where you tell it to the WordPress to cut off your blog post, and then the, there'll be a read more button people can click. Um, I obviously am a recipe blogger, so I usually I like to use recipe card plugin. I we currently use the new cookbook plugin, which is a premium annual fee plugin, um, but I already inserted my recipe here. You can find plugins by going um, to the left sidebar and clicking Add New. And also, if there's a certain plugin that you're interested in having, for example, like recipe cards, just Google it. Like best recipe plugins for WordPress or whatever you need for your website. There are so many plugins out there nowadays. There's a plugin for everything. I always end my blog posts with a nice, pretty, vert long, vertical um, pin. 
Um, I always put pin for later in bold, and then I use two images with a pretty title in the middle, obviously still using your style guide, your fonts and colors, um, stay true to your style guide. So yeah, I always like to end with a long, pretty font so people can pin it straight from my blog post, and I just put it at the bottom. All right, now let's go up here on the side. If you are not ready to publish your blog post, just save it as a draft. Um, if you would like to preview your blog post to see what it's going to look like on the reader's end, just click preview and it'll load it, what it's going to look like as a blog post. All right. And if you're ready to publish, go ahead and click publish. If you know exactly, if you're not ready to publish it right now, but you know exactly what date and time you do want to publish it, go here and click edit. And you can actually set the exact date and time that you want it to publish automatically. Categories. All right, these are really important. Um, I recommend taking some time to organize your categories and to be specific. Um, right now, I'm just going to add a recipe category. And basically this parent category, um, so that means, for example, on SincerelyJune.com, we have simple recipes. That's a parent category. And then we have dinners, desserts, et cetera, as our um, categories under the parent category. Okay, so click Add New. All right. And... tags. You just want to, these are just words that people may search for on your website. So I'm going to put dinner, soup, tomato, creamy, simple recipe, things like that. Um, and then featured image. We like to keep our featured images, images squared because uh, on our homepage, we have a section at the bottom where people can look through our most recent blog post and it requires a square image. So that's just our preference. Um, so I'm already uploaded a square one. Um, let's do my alt text really quick. Okay, and then set featured image. All right. Now, one last key step. You need to make sure that you have optimized this post for search engines. We like to use the US SEO plugin. I actually have a tutorial showing you how to set that up. Basically, it ranks um, your keywords and uh, your meta description and tells you how it's going to rank on search engines. So it's, it's either going to be a red, yellow, or green light. Obviously you want the green light. And I chose my keyword based off of some research I just did on the Google keyword tools. And I actually have a tutorial on that as well. It shows you the top keywords that have the lowest competition and the highest amount of searches per month. So it's an awesome tool. You need to watch that tutorial. It'll really help you to rank higher on Google and other search engines. All right, so that was my focus keyword right here is tomato soup. As you can see, I used it in my meta description. This is a description that's going to show up on search engines. Make sure that it's descriptive and using your focus keyword. And um, this is the analysis. So if you have a yellow or red light, you need to look at the analysis and see what you need to fix. And just one more thing about your search engine optimization, you want it to be at least 300 words, your article. But I'm good to go because I have my green light. Um, and then these are other tools from US SEO, social, and then more advanced settings. Um, but like I said, I'll go into that more detail in my other tutorial. 
All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I think that we are ready to publish this blog post. All right. Publish. Perfect, so now when you click on your home page, you should see it all the way up to your read more line. Yep, perfect. Okay, that is how you do a blog post.